Hello gentlemen and welcome back to St Columbus. Today you are going to have a tour around the school led to start with by Mr Martin. Make sure you pay attention to everything that Sir says. There may be questions later on. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome gentlemen. First and foremost, congratulations for choosing St Columbus. You are at a great school. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of our school just in time for September so you know your way about because these are very bizarre times that we're in and usually around about now we'd be inviting you into school to see it running but we're not able to do that at the moment so come with me this way have your PE lessons a combination of in this building and out on the field let's have a look inside in here is our indoor sports hall, state-of-the-art sports hall. Come and have a look. We also have two GCSE classrooms upstairs that you'll be doing hopefully in year 10. Right next to our sports hall is our Iona Theatre. Years ago, when I first started this school, this used to be our sports hall, but now this is our state-of-the-art theatre where you'll have your drama lessons. But gentlemen, this is not your entrance. I'm going to show you your entrance this way. Right, this is your student entrance, gentlemen. We're going via these doors. Right, boys, this is our student reception. This is where you will sign in if you are late. You are not going to be late on your first day. Certainly not. Half eight, we start. Remember that. Hello there, miss. Good uh, morning. There's our lovely office staff. They will help you with whatever you need, gentlemen. Lunchtime. One o'clock is our lunchtime, gentlemen. This is where you will line up, and this is our canteen. Follow me. Enough room for everybody. Right, let's continue the tour. Ah, there's Miss Johnson. Hello there. Welcome to the SAS. This department is for the complex needs boys and also for any students who feel that they don't want to be in the playground and are a bit overwhelmed by the new the newness of being in a big school. So you can come in here at break and lunch times and you can play games and socialise with other students in a more calmer environment if you don't want to be outside. Miss Calland, who is a Senko, that's her office, so you may visit her from time to time. But this area is the key stage four complex needs team. And we'll go through here to the year seven room, where you'll probably do, some of you will probably do, sorry. The fish are sleeping, so they're not there. But this is the year seven room where some of you will be based. And this is quite a welcoming room with Miss Davis. I'm just going to go upstairs and see what's happening in the wellbeing and learning hub. Great, so this is the Wellbeing and Learning Hub, and up here we do all of the therapy, mentoring and group sessions work. We also work with our ASD students and do speech and language and literacy. Miss Moore, Mr Hancock and myself are all based up here, and we're here to support all of you coming into this new school year at St Columbus. My right, boys, doing a selfie now, we're going to have a look at the food tech room. Here we go. Part of our DT department. Right, let's go down to art. Right, guys, we're now down in the art corridor. One of the best places in the school. Here we go, look at some of the work in here. All right, this is where you'll have your art lessons. Some great work in there. The DT department is where you'll find Mr. Chalice. Let's have a look. Including this room, we've got three DT rooms along with the food room, and that links us into science. We're taking a stroll up the science corridor now. We're going to turn left into the large science space that we use for training, for revision, for meetings with students, and surrounding the space are several more of the science labs. At the end of the space, you can see some steps 
when we go up those steps in a second they take us into the humanities area where we will find our geography and history classrooms. I'll take a little walk up the stairs just here when we get to the top we'll take a little look into one of the geography classrooms behind me is where you'll have your assemblies fellas for you guys every monday morning every monday morning your assembly we line up at the front and we walk in in an orderly fashion looking smart boys i'm on the middle of the playground this is where people congregate at break times this isn't your playground your playground is over there that's the year seven playground just for you over there are the football fields that I spoke about. You'll have your PE lessons there, rugby matches, football matches. Let's go and see Mr. Evans. And then up. Hello boys, I'm Mr. Evans, deputy head teacher. I'm gonna take you around the JP2 building, which is where a lot of the teaching is done. And I'm gonna show you some of the bits and pieces. You'll notice I've got a badge on my lapel here. You'll be given one as a new boy to the school. Uh, we like to give all the boys the St Columbus badge. Badge, hope that makes sense. We're gonna go this way, come on. By the time you leave the school uh, in year 11, you'll have hopefully had your pictures on this board here, which shows you the student leadership team of the school. We've got head boy, deputy head boys, and different types of prefects. And you can look, when you come to the school and you want help from an older student, these boys will be particularly helpful. So when you come in, and you come in through the doors into the JP2, get used to the faces of the boys on this board in particular, because they'll help you around the school and they'll be looking out for their younger brothers. We're on the lower ground floor here, boys, and we've got two rooms here which are quite important for you to get help. Mr Chalice, if he's not found in his DT room, will be found in here, which is where all the heads of years are based. So as you came through the door, it's just here on one side. And here is ITCT support. So if you need to get a password reset or something like that, the teacher may send you down to ask for it, and it will be in this room here, which is a small room with some music going today, which is where you can get some help from numbers. I'm gonna go this way and show you where the French rooms are. You can see French notice board here. And our two French rooms are along this corridor. Mr. Carity teaches in here, and the next door along is where Mr. Uh, Andreoli will be. So your French lessons will be in here, and beyond there, down the bottom of the corridor, is the library. But we can't use this door to get in the library, we've got to go in the other side, and I'll show you that in a minute. 